Hi everyone, it's Crystal and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing some cooking and some cleaning with you. I actually am going to be sharing a really delicious crock pot meal with you as well as some cleaning mixed in between. Now most of the cleaning is going to be in the kitchen because I just need to take care of a few things in there as you can see. And then I'll do some other tasks as well. But right now I'm just cleaning up the Play-Doh. Oh my goodness, the twins are so into Play-Doh but it makes just a huge mess. So before I can get started preparing our dinner, I need to just clean all the things off of the counters. It's a shame that my hands start shaking all of the time when you're around me. But this time, this time, girl, I know what's bothering me. I need somebody to love. Oh, na, 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 na. Don't you see what's Our son Madden, who is five, is very much into remote control cars right now. And before he went to school this morning, he had them all charging all over the counters. So I needed to get those off and put away in his room, as well as just put away all of the dishes that were left over from breakfast into the dishwasher. When I see you, my heart starts racing, but I don't know if I like this chasing and playing and waiting around. It's a shame that my hands start shaking all of the time when you're around me. But this time, this time. The recipe that I'm going to be sharing with you today is called slow cooker cheeseburger soup and I'm going to have the link below in the description box so you can see the all the exact measurements and ingredients and things like that um, but it was recommended to me from my hairstylist actually when I was in there earlier this week she had told me about how good the soup was and I knew I had to give it a try and let me tell you it did not disappoint perfect for these colder months if you're looking for something easy really like everyday ingredients too which is also really nice so i cooked the ground beef already now i'm just slicing up the celery and the onion as well as potatoes i actually added an extra potato than what the recipe called for and some carrots and adding it all into the crock pot I would really like to get more into crock pot cooking this fall and winter. It really is just so much easier to cook these meals, stick them in the crock pot when I only have two kids home versus the whole family. <laughs> it's just a little quieter. So anyways, if you have any amazing crock pot meals that you would recommend, let me know in the comments below with a link to the recipe. I would love to try them, but right now I'm just adding in some chicken broth into the veggies and the ground beef, and then I also need to add a few spices like pepper, garlic powder, and some basil. I 
still have two ingredients to add, but that will come later. For now, this will sit in the crock pot for seven hours on low. While that is in the crock pot, there's plenty of other tasks and things that I need to get done around the house, starting with laundry. As you saw, I got the shark suit off of Andrew and I am going to wash that. I had posted some photos on Instagram of him wearing his shark suit and now he's letting me wash his shark and turtle as well. But if you wanna see how cute he looks in a little shark suit, head over to Instagram and you can check it out. But he's obsessed and did not want to take it off. So I consider it a big win that I was able to get it off of him to wash. Yes, in your shark suit. <laughs> Right now I am just stuffing our cloth diapers with inserts. I use Bum Genius pocket diapers, love them so much. I've had them since Macy was about one year old. So seven years now, they've held up so well over time. It does take a little bit of time to wash them. I maybe wash them once or twice a week, but it's definitely worth it. Anyways, I am now taking out the trash and also planning to head outside now with the boys for a little bit. Not really like cleaning per se, but I'm gonna rake some leaves and some piles and let them play around while I do just a little bit of yard work. One of the last videos that you saw on my channel was of the snow we were getting and now as you can see it is all gone <laughs> we can resume fall again but we ended up getting like two inches i would say just a guess i don't know the official number but it was kind of a disappointment i was thinking we were going to be getting more and it melted in like three days maybe two days i don't know but it's been gone for a little while now so now it's time to do more yard work especially raking up all of these leaves and and holy wind like it is a windy day out but the boys definitely love being out there and jumping in the leaves The soup was smelling so good. I feel like you need to go outside and come back in to really appreciate when you have the slow cooker going and the smell. Oh yeah, so good. But now that the boys are napping, I can continue on with some cleaning in the kitchen. I don't do a lot of this, but I definitely needed to do it today. And it is wiping down all of our appliances. I'm using the, I'm gonna call it Wyman or Weeman. I, I messed this up in every single video. The stainless steel wipes, just wiping all of the appliances down. 
enjoy cleaning videos or new recipes definitely leave me a thumbs up I so very much appreciate it and also in the description box I'm going to have some links to some of the products that I am sharing with you today I always get questions on this one when I clean off our glass cooktop stove but it's from Amazon and I love it it just makes your cooktop look brand new Lately, I've gotten a lot of messages and comments in regards to the cabinets. It's been, I think now, it's we're coming up on almost two years of having them chalk painted white. I kind of took it on after Christmas a couple of years ago, or was it, yeah, a couple of years ago. Still absolutely loving them. Now, of course, we have a few chips and marks just because we have four kids. All of them are wild, so I definitely need to go back and touch them up. But I'm so glad that I did it. It completely changed our house and would definitely recommend it if it's something that you have been considering. Also a little mini update on some projects that we have going on around the house. So we are installing the ceiling fan finally in the living room this weekend. So I can share with you that in an upcoming video what that looks like. And then I absolutely need to get started painting up the, the stairwell the walls going upstairs and finishing up the trim so i'm going to be sharing in a vlog probably the next video you see me kind of starting the whole painting process again i know i've had some questions asking to share how i paint all of our trim white so let me know in the comments below if you want to see like a little mini tutorial on that Standing in a corner 
Because the boys are napping, I didn't want to pull out my vacuum. I am just way too cautious when they are napping. It's kind of like don't wake the sleeping bear type of situation. So when they are napping and I do clean the floors, I will just grab out the old broom and dust pan and make sure to get all of the kind of corners and nooks and things that maybe the vacuum doesn't get. And then once I get done sweeping all of the things off of the floor, the Play-Doh, oh gosh, yeah, so much Play-Doh. <laughs> Then I'm going to pull out my old trusty spin mop and zoom around the kitchen. So while I'm actually doing this, I'm watching YouTube videos about Christmas decor. You guys, I am so excited for Christmas. It is pretty crazy to believe that it is coming up so quickly. So I am definitely in the Christmas spirit and can't wait to share more with you. I don't know how, but it feels like I'm drunk on you It's almost like you make me fly And when I look at you smile I don't know how, but it feels like I'm drunk on you It feels like I'm drunk on you It feels like I'm drunk on you magic eraser to the rescue here our garbage can does leave like little marks on our floors though that always cleans it right up and now i am pulling out the counter stools out into the living room that's when you know i mean business playing cool play on repeat watching people on the street as i go by and it doesn't up to go and I'm gonna hit the road tonight now my wheels in motion and my
seven hours is now up. Here is what the soup looks like. Now the last two ingredients will be added. I have some cream cheese as well as some of the Velveeta cheese. I feel like everything tastes so good with Velveeta cheese in there. So I'm gonna just cut them up into little pieces so they melt a little bit quicker and they will continue to sit in the crock pot on low for one more hour. Okay, friends, so you have to try this recipe. It was so good, so good. So highly recommend you add this to your meal plan very soon. But one of my favorite things of cooking in the crock pot is there is very minimal cleanup now at this point. So I'm just gonna clean everything off of the counters from dinner, the kids were eating some brownies, and so I'm just getting rid of that pan, which, by the way, let me know. So my husband and I were going back and forth about this. Do you like the edge pieces of the brownie or do you like the insides? I like the like the inside pieces, he likes the edges, so we're like the perfect duo. But <laughs> it's always kind of interesting to hear what people prefer. But as you can see, plenty of leftovers here. I'm making a little container for my mother-in-law to take home. I wanted her to give it a try because I loved it so much. And just gonna soak the crock pot bowl overnight. That's gonna wrap up this cook and clean video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do not forget to subscribe and hit that little bell notification so you are aware of every new video that I come out with. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Just another day, me having to load the dishwasher. <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> <laughs>